So it's time for a new gun video and my friend Neil mentioned that this box has not enough brass and uh, I decided to make uh, corner protection out of brass sheet metal. So let's go. So I already did two test pieces, one for the bottom. and one for the top, like this, and I pre-signed and cut some of the parts already. This one is ready for bending, and this one we now need to cut. We just cut it with the uh, um, with a uh, um, plate here, so let's go.
So for bending, I will need a vise with relatively sharp corners and uh, no marking on the on the inside of the vise. Should be rather smooth. So I decided to put the machining vise in my pattern making vise and then we can start bending. So, Thank <laughs> you. 
Perfect. So, maybe you see here on around the screw we have a little bit a dome shape. It's not as... Uh, Prominent as I hope, but uh, there is a simple trick to do this You just take a sheet of yeah, a sheet of lead on the bottom Marking the backside and I have a piece of steel pipe 10 millimeter 10 uh, to 10 by 2 and then I marked the inside properly. Where's the hammer? I marked the inside properly and then You create a dome shape and in the center you can drill the hole for the screw. Off center, so So now we marking all the drill holes.
Of center, oh, don't matter. So, so, but before I start drilling, I have to mention never, really never use gloves on the drill stand. That's so fucking dangerous. Never, never do that. Because when the drill starts turning and the glove will be catched by the drill, then you have no chance to get away with your finger. If this is a small drill, yeah, you get some cuts in your finger. But if you try with a drill of 10, 12, 15 millimeters, you have no chance to get away. And after that, If you are bad uh, in bad luck, then you will never use your hand again. And uh, even the doctor in the hospital, yeah, he will have no chance to repair. So never use gloves. That's really necessary to know. And especially for woodworkers, I see many times because they are not common that metal getting warm during uh, during drilling stuff like that they're using gloves never never ever do it In case something happens right now, by reflex you draw back your hand and you are safe. When you have gloves on and they are drawn into the drill, then you won't get your hand out and it's gone.
So this one we missed out to do the molding, so we will do it now.
So now you can I can show you what I have in the boxes. There are some pipes for pre-measured powder, a vent picker, brush, a brush for the pr uh, priming pan, some other tools, my glasses, um, muscle loading caps, two different sizes. Some other tools, a powder measure, some earplugs, some uh, some flint, and my shooting book, or right now three shooting book uh, shooting books, and my license for gunpowder. Now we fill the box. So, first thing I always need is pre filled pipes with gunpowder already measured. Then uh, Pre-cutted rocks for cleaning. Some 445 round balls, not so much. Some VD40. Oh. Some of my previous shootings. That was uh, 55, uh, 45 caliber. This one was, I think, something old with round balls, but offhand. And what is it is? Uh, that was from the sighting. So now some balls. These are round balls for thirty five. For my long rifle, round balls for ninety, and some grease. And for sure, that's the most necessary maxi balls with hollow bottom. That's for uh, caliber, I think. What is it? Four forty five. And this is for uh, my old Italian long rifle for competition shooting. And I still have some of them.
without hollow bottom. But the hollow bottom one's running better. Some patches for the pistols. And I don't know. Ah, okay. Now we have the next box. We have some rocks. And then inside we have the priming the priming horn with the priming powder the starter a funnel for filling screwdriver some pre-cutted patches a key for changing the pistons on the uh, caplock rifle and a simple screwdriver and one more some self-made loop also for the maxi balls that's simply um, some lanoline grease with some hand cream that's rather soft and runs really good. So, and for sure, always I have some rugs. And especially for competition shooting, a loading board. So you can put all balls you need in one row and the powder uh, charges in one row and then you can be really sure that you have done all the shootings, especially when there is a lot of stuff going on and you are disturbed many times, then uh, it's really necessary not to... Uh, load the ball without a powder charge so like this it's pretty much easier yeah that's all from my shooting box so right now here you can see the brass corners all around and now we have a good protection for any kind of damage. So that's all for now and next time I will I promise I'd do something more on the Jäger rifle, but this was very obvious work because uh, I took it on the range uh, last uh, Friday and I will take it on the range this Friday as well, so I need to do something about it. But next week, something more from the Jäger rifle. So, until next time.